The leader of 150 guerrilla fighters reveals his face and his name. And Jose Flores, known as Comrade Artemio, says for the first time, Peru's Maoist group Shining Path has been defeated. I will not deny it. Now we want a political solution. We want this to end through negotiations. Nearly 20 years after the Shining Path founder, Abimael Guzman, was captured, Artemio is calling for an amnesty. That would include Guzman, says Gustavo Gorriti, who talked to Artemio in his jungle hideout. But paradoxically enough, in order to, 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 to get uh, uh, more traction for the proposal, they are trying to include their former sworn enemies, those that are incarcerated for human rights atrocities. Enemies like members of a paramilitary group condemned for gross human rights violations. The defense minister says Artemio is surrounded and that's why he wants a truce. He should turn himself in, give up his weapons, face justice and pay for his crimes. Artemio says he has sent two letters to President Ollanta Humala asking for talks, but the president hasn't responded. When Humala was a soldier, he fought Artemio directly. The war the Shining Path waged against the government killed nearly 70,000 Peruvians and thousands more disappeared. Artemio has tried to negotiate with previous governments unsuccessfully. Whether the government accepts this proposal or not, there is still another faction of the Shining Path which has not declared a truce, and they continue to fight the army with lethal force. They are a force of 400 Shining Path members who control swathes of territory in central Peru, with little firepower but the ability to ambush the army. And they are Artemio's ideological enemies, hardliners who believe the popular insurrection against the government must go on. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Perú.